welcome to another Method Man lesson. Well, I'm a little dizzy now. Anyways, today we're going to learn about solving system of equations by using the substitution method. And just remember three steps when I give you these two examples coming up. Number one, start with the easier equation and solve for a variable, meaning have one of the letters all by itself. Step two, use that first equation and substitute it into the second one. And the last step, find the value of all your variables. So just follow those three steps. Let's go ahead and apply those to these two examples coming up. All right, example one, solve the system of equations. To solve it, you gotta find a value for x and a value for y to make both statements, both equations true. So start off by choosing the simpler equation. How can you tell? Well, one, usually it's shorter, and two, sometimes you get lucky and the variable is already isolated. So this one is already solved for y. I'm gonna start with this and I'm gonna substitute it into the second equation. So for wherever you see a y right there, you're gonna replace it with 3x. So I see a y right here, I'm gonna replace that with 3x. Substitute it in. 5, 3x plus 5x equals 20. And you're probably asking, what's the point of doing that? Well, I only have to deal with one variable here instead of x and y, so it's possible to find that value for x. Simplify and solve 15x plus 5x equals 20. Combine like terms, you get 20x equals 20, and solve from here. Divide 20 to both sides, and we're halfway done. We get x equals 1. That's half the problem done right there. Now that we have a value for x, it doesn't matter which equation you choose, just substitute that value in so you can solve for y. It's usually best to choose the simpler equation. I'm just going to rewrite it right here. y equals 3x. Now instead of x, we have a value for it. We have it as 1. y equals 3. Substitute it again. 1 and simplify y equals 3 and our problem is solved here's my solution x equals 1 and y equals 3 please pause the video and try out the example and hit play once you're done and an explanation and your answer will be given to you so don't cheat I'm, gonna, I'm watching you Anyways, before I let you try the problem, a little hint below. Start with the equation that already has one variable solved for, or one variable that's isolated already. I think you can tell. So hit pause right now. Here is the answer for example two. First, start off with the easier equation. That's the one on the bottom, 2y equals x. And substitute it in to the other one. So you're going to substitute 2y for wherever you see an x and that top equation. That's what I did right here. And just solve for y. Pretty easy. Once you have the value of y, substitute it into the other equation. It doesn't matter which one to solve for x. Just choose a simpler equation. It'll make your head hurt a little less. So 2 instead of y, we're going to plug in a 1 equals x and simplify from here and you get x equals 2. That wasn't so hard, was it? But anyways, if you're still confused, I have another video on solving systems through substitution that you should check out. There are a little harder problems, but at least you'll learn more examples. So before I stop talking, make sure you subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.